Dungeons of Spree. Please hurry, they're coming. Stay back. These people are no threat to you. Put that down. Okay, let's just run. <coughs> Quick, the storeroom. That was horrible. Unless you want the horrible following us in here, I suggest you shut the door. Those reds at the back. Set them on fire. Your little creatures are just darlings, aren't they? I'm Rose. Well, it seems like you can handle yourselves. Interested in a job? Have you heard about the Heaven's Peak Plague? It's nasty, very nasty. I came here to see if this place could shelter the poor lumps that aren't infected. Yet... Ugh. I need to get out of here, but I can't leave with these raiders everywhere, and I need my luggage. Could you deal with them and retrieve it for me? Oh, you should probably know. Those raiders had a strange creature with them. It's bound to be magical. Must have helped them get in here. She certainly has the proper disdain for the country pumpkins things. So a typical noble lady, I'd say. Take the weapon. You have a goddamn claw. Sword's a better weapon. I have no idea where they're going. I guess they don't want it for something. You choose all. There's quite a lot of those little shits. Don't think they can come through. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I didn't want them to go there. Oh. And what the fuck are you doing? I wanted to position themselves close to the barricade and see if they can attack them from range. But no. No, 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 no. Activating. No one ever does what you think they should be doing. You choose all. Deep, deep sigh. You shoot at the guy. There's multiples of them there. Oh. 
I feel like the fire imps could be something useful if you could get a little bit more out of them. Like a, a, another type of attack, something. But what they're currently doing, this this little shit that doesn't have any area of effect and it basically... You can easily miss it, it's so slow. I wouldn't say it's terrible by any means, it's just... Eh, that's the worst thing we can do. Yeah, single strike will kill a red. The browns fare a little bit better against them. I think there's a red summoning spot here. Reds. Could be imagining things. Yep, they're fairly good. Any kind of surprise attack and you're gonna get casualties easily. A couple of hits maybe to kill something. You choose all Still nothing. I think that you really even should stop your steady, fast progress to, to achieve something. So. Another waypoint. Dude. Uh, there's only two of them. Yeah, they are not tough. That must hurt. Those raiders don't want me helping the plague victims. They want to create chaos. 
If that plague gets out of Heaven's Peak, then things will get very disorganized. And I hate that. She likes organization. Orderly things. Mm, it looks like it'd be a boss challenge of some sort. Yeah, definitely a tactical situation to be released. There's a thingamajig we can probably carry at the cost of 12 minions. No, it's uh, something else. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like we need to... We can position groups at the sides or use fire imps to gain access to the center. But I don't see all that much use for browns while looking at this situation. I think we just have to go in there and see the inevitable cutscene. Mm, that creature's presence explains how these raiders entered the castle. Uh, we need to block the... Quick, master! Position your reds on high ground to attack the beast. You must keep it surrounded. Browns. This is not good. We need to race. What are you people doing? Huge amount of noise. How do you keep it surrounded though? I'm not sure how the fuck you're supposed to do it because it's very inconvenient to command two groups now, I can't command these creatures so it seems like from time to time I'm blocked basically from doing anything They're giving me extra fire essence, so it's not like I'm gonna run out. Okay, could you fucking do so? I keep it surrounded. <sighs> I know exactly what I'm sort of supposed to do. Keep it or the, well, let them, yeah. I can't get things to work. I, I'm basically trying something very, very, very simple there. And what's the end result? Uh, one of my guys is trying to carry the huge item that's right next to the beholder. 
Uh, the rest were scattering all over the place, totally impotent at doing anything. So what the fuck am I supposed to do in a situation like that? Uh, wrong type, but whatever. How would you split the groups? I put a marker there first. You must keep it surrounded. Fuck you, game. I can't just command the fucking browns. No matter how hard I try, the reds get involved in there. Always. You must keep it surrounded. Absolutely ridiculous. Attack it from here. Now bring the luggage to that female creature before she mows the place down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was tedious. Again, not because there's anything particularly difficult or hard of what you're supposed to do, but because of the limitations of the control system, trying to do even a, a simple thing is just so, so much trouble. Can I create multiple... Yes. But it works in a weird way. Uh, I, I can't just send some guys there to do it. Uh, especially because they have to be of the same type. So... Uh, I should have created a group of 10 fire minions, sent them there, created the group, removed 5 of them, sent the remaining 5 on the other side, leave it there. So, it can be done, it just... Because of the simplistic limited control system, you sort of have to go in a very specific way to do things. 
can be done, but not necessarily in the way you would expect or find natural. You have to work around the limitations of the control system. On the passive side, it can be done at least. So it's not impossible, it's just unnatural in how you have to go about it. Or unintuitive, perhaps is the correct word here. Again, probably uh, not a bad idea to learn these things at this point. It wasn't particularly challenging or threatening to us. Just. Let's head for spree. My luggage! You and your little cherubs found it. Cherubs? I thought you were just the usual run of the mill dungeon fodder, but you've surprised me. I think someone like you could use someone like me. Let's go. Uh, let's not, though. I wanted to explore it further. So this is your tower. Hmm, it could use a bit of work. Greetings, mysteries. Sire, we've managed to reopen the private quarters. I've instructed the minions to take Milady's luggage there. If you're heading to Heaven's Peak, perhaps you could investigate what's been causing the plague. I'd better get up there. Wouldn't want those little deers eating my things and getting a tummy ache. Give me a chance to spruce up the place a little, then come on up. I'll put the kettle on. So she just started living here. Rescue! <sighs> Um, not want this. How the hell am I gonna get my... I would have to take care of everyone there. No, I don't like this. We'll have to come back here from a further location. There might be a better way to handle this uh, waypoint system, so we get closer to the place we actually want to be. But if there's a way to do it, the game certainly wants to keep it a secret for me for some, some reason. So, I don't know it. Again, this will pretty much cover the casualties we got from that engagement. Also, I'm not critically happy about the woman just deciding she wants to live with me for for no particular reason. I'm not expe exactly expecting some kind of a role-playing thing there. I don't see where's the benefit to me. Why that particular woman? I mean, there was a village filled with women already. What makes her more appropriate or more attractive for us than any one of them? I can think of reasons, that's not the problem. The problem is I haven't been really given in-game reasons to do it. The only positive about the current woman us. seems to be that she's a noble of some sort, so that would be more appropriate than some kind of peasant, but that's it. And that's pretty weak. Because it, it makes sense if we were sort of trying to 
gain influence or fit in in the surrounding society, I suppose. But we are not at all. So I, I don't really get the real reasoning why we're doing these things. Well, if nothing else, we'll uh, basically recover our losses from the adventure. <coughs> we have other place we can go. I don't think so. Oh, this one's burning. A lot of fire essence for us. I wonder how the dungeons are treated now, because it's not the first time we're going to be there. So even if we miss something, there's probably not going to be all that many of those assassin types there anymore. I got the impression that we probably missed some kind of a side passage only, so not that big of a deal. Browns. You choose all. Still, one of those side things is why we have 15 minions instead of 10, so... It's always worth taking a look at. So they replaced the assassins with rats. Literally this one room, right? So a couple of treasures and that's about it. No? There are more people here. Still nothing. Like Maybe they served a purpose in the if we would have come here in originally. Some kind of tip about what we need to do, things like that. 
We did lose a lot of fighting effectiveness because of the large amount of casualties, so getting a little bit of refill isn't exactly horrible. What are they shooting? We didn't miss out on much. Didn't get new aims. Maybe we should meet up with the lady. Let's see what options do we have. What about you? What are you doing? Nothing. Okay, let's go see the lady. Maybe upgrade the minion control number with the rescuer of the distressed damsel, <sighs> leader of the fire starters. Yeah. Ah, there you are. This place isn't what I'm normally used to, but one has to make the best of things, I suppose. Let me show you around. Not much to look at here, but nothing that a really good dust wouldn't cure. Now this could be a great space. A bedroom, a banqueting area, even your own private interrogation room. I think that this area would make an adorable treasure vault. I think the lighting would set off your riches wonderfully. You do have riches, don't you? Some riches, apparently. Now this is the nerve centre of your evil domain. I've created a scale model of your tower out of bits and bobs I found lying around. I'm very resourceful. What is this exactly? Customize dark tower. I can see you're thinking... Banners. Seems to be flop. Okay, are you going to show me more? Or was this it? Show, so she's in re responsible for the flop. That has no real impact on the gameplay. Uh, uh, shrug, I guess. It's fine, but um, I have no interest in that. Uh, maybe the red carpet. That seemed to make a nice actual difference in how the throne room looks. I works. hope you're taking care of your cherub, sire. But besides that, everything else sort of seems like why well, even bother. The difference isn't meaningful. I don't really have any ob objection to content like this, it just... <sighs> it's exactly that. Sigh, and nothing else. Merciful quietener mm. of the grumbling stomachs. I don't say I'm exactly disappointed. 
bots, and there's the bots. Seems like it's sort of a worthless thing. Uh, I'm sure there's some. I would have wished that there's some kind of baggage somewhere. and benefit that comes with the, of the tower with hearts. the lady. Maybe even have a choice what type of a lady you're gonna Most pick. Wise master. Just tying it to visual plot isn't all that useful. And where the hell is Heaven Speaking? Why do I even have a teleporter location to it? I don't recall ever visiting Heaven Speaking. Might as well go there. The slime, the stagnant odor, the festering corpses. It's all so homely. You'll see that the city of Heaven's Peak dominates these swamp laden lands, my lord. Within it, the great citadel of Angelus Keep squats like a fly on a dung pile. I should have looked at the upgrade options for minion numbers. That's the only upgrade I'm generally interested in. Are these hostile? Hey, I see you looking at my sheep. Keep your creatures away from my girls. Oh, come here, sheepy sheepies. Looks like there's some kind of cavern there. But if I can't control my minions, they're not useful. I mean, if they're gonna cause me trouble. Still, this seems like this is a totally new map that's in no way connected to the previous area. Mm. Not sure what to think about that. That's a graveyard. Do I want to go to the graveyard. Rather go to the city first. I feel terrible. Everything aches. I got out before they shut the city. Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Zombies. Something strange is going on at that inn. I got out before they shut the city. Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. Hey, big guy. Get over here. Heard you might be looking for a way into Heaven's Peak. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? But I've still got a family in there. So, maybe you're the kind of crazy we need right now. See that sewer entrance over there? I've been watching it. Seen a few refugees coming out. Not many, I grant you, and some are in a bad way, a real bad way. But if you want in, there it is. Oh, if you want to cross water, you'll need to locate the blue minions. They must be somewhere around here. They gravitate towards watery areas. Yeah, that alone seems like a good reason to come here. New type of uh, There's quite a few places where... We would have needed the blue minions. And red minions. Minions, whatever. It's 
so nothing special about it. We're gonna have to pick up some red eaves. Careful there. That barrier is all that stands between us and those creatures. Yeah. It didn't seem to be all that tough, but at the same time there was only one of them and we I had don't know what's worse. Stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them. And we need blue ones if we want to go there. Those knights give me the creeps. They're too quiet. I feel terrible. Everything aches. Um, no. I'm going to the tower see if I can upgrade the minion control numbers. If I could get a, even a couple of extra ones, I could get a better mix of decent amount of range of attack power and decent amount of melee attack power. Rescuer of the distressed damsel. Here you can forge new items and upgrade existing ones. The lives of your minions can be used to imbue items. The more you sacrifice, the more powerful the item. Cost and the maximum number of minions you can sacrifice are determined by item and material type. Don't get too carried away, sire. Remember, minions are your deadliest weapons, so don't leave home without them. Your item is ready to be forged, Master. So what did we get? This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Giblet, wake up! There's forging to be done. Mm. Nothing. It's a, it's a slightly better one, but all that sacrifice and it produced nothing. We have to sacrifice enormous amounts of creatures to get anything done. It seems like we can upgrade it three times. And we got maybe one quarter to where we need to be. So, yeah. Still. The smelter needs feeding, Master. We can collect the uh, extra life force and keep dumping them on the helmet. That's the only thing I care about. Even if it's even just plus three new imps, that it still be worth it for me. It's the only thing that matters, and it's a uh, well, 20% increase in your effectiveness probably, or attack power, or whatever. It's not an insignificant thing. This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Giblet, see to the one. master's needs. Hmm. Leader of the fire starters. <laughs> what are these numbers? Uh, probably an amount of quests you have in the area. Maybe. I, I have no idea. I'm going to Mellow Hills because they have sheep. 
I was trying to see if I can get to the first third of the sacrificial thing. Be careful though how much we sacrifice, especially with the bronze, I don't want to dip below 100 in their cheek. I want a healthy buffer to be there in case we do hit some rough patches. We can throw away the extra ones, but we still need to kill things to get extra energy, lots of it. I don't know if there's a good place for us to get some. There was a location in the abyss that basically just respawned the enemies constantly and burned them. Something to consider at least. Do we have other large areas? No. Other areas where we could just go and face a large number of enemies? I, I don't think so. Unless... Maybe go to the halfling areas. There should be rats there. I'm not sure how many energy or life ener essences we need. But I don't want to keep farming them for too long. I'm more or less interested in does something special happen when we reach the first full third of the bar? Or is it just... That's a graphical thing that is divided into three sections. Right, there are either rats or halflings here. Uh, uh, both are fine. We get a few extra resources. No, 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 we're not really looking for gold or equipment, though. It's not gonna hurt, but it's a waste of time. One specifically essences. A spawn spot for half things would do just fine. Right, so this is a good way to farm gold, I suppose. Destroy houses. But still, the only thing we want to upgrade again is something that we can't do through money. We need imps to get that. All the useful stuff seems to be centered around the imp control. Hopefully they are actually living opponents here. Rats, right. You have links too. Do they have the re the spawn spots? Yeah. 
I need to find a room that had a spawn spot for the half thing. Now they're all destroyed. So we might be able to get a few kills out of this, a little bit of energy, but I don't think we're gonna get all that much. Do I even get energy out of those? I'm not sure I do. <sighs> yeah, this is not a good place to be. Uh, we'll go back with the zombies. I might get something out of this, but it's not worth the time we're spending on this. Yep. Couple points in life energy just are not worth it. Smart way might be to just try to harvest the animals at every opportunity. That way you can avoid having to do this at any point. For fuck's sakes, go there. Okay, good enough. We do know that they are guaranteed spawns, but if we go to the abyss through the portal, I'm sure I want to go there, but it's something we know that's there. Has to be Heaven's Peak because of the blue ones. After that, we can do the rest. Go with 50 50 split for Look, now. friend, the camp is getting pretty full now. We just can't take in anymore. And your little friends look pretty far gone. I I'm sorry. You don't want to leave the camp, Reds. Oh, for fuck's sakes! They start to pick fights with the uh, rams. Well, we can use the energy, so I'm not complaining. It's just a bit of a distraction with the zombies being there and all.
Oh, come on, just hit them, kill them. Light them on fire and they'll die on their own. I think that's good enough. Right! Zombie killing. Uh, the one thing I hate about this group movement thing is, is they sort of start attacking when they get targets, which, which makes sense. Yeah, but the problem is, if you just want to move them to a location, then that's a, a different matter. I'm gonna try to go and put the marker there with the browns. And just send the reds to the marker. Yeah, the idea was for this song. Browns. It doesn't actually work like that. It's Reds. Browns. Okay. Yes. Are you shitting me? <sighs> Just go here. We need to be far enough away so they can attack. Just ludicrous. They can't adjust their aim at all to compensate for the obvious blocks. Okay, at least they can attack and somewhat in this position. Also seem to be fairly effective against the undead, so Where the hell are you people shooting at? Oh. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Was indeed a trap. See if we can lure them a little bit closer. Smallish group, maybe. Get ready! They're coming! Reds! Choose all. Just keep shooting people. Browns. No one wants to shoot. I have no idea what the fuck you are attacking that. Also, why aren't... What the hell did you do that for? You want your brains eaten like a boiled egg? 
I hate that every I can't I can't recall the minions group separately. If I recall them every all of them come my way, even though I'm not trying to control all. <sighs> right, the zombies are fairly weak though. And they can pop up from the ground, which is not a good thing. So they can be deceptively weak and then suddenly go up as a thing. Okay, I think we can. Ooh, who the hell are you? Succubus. Succubus. Poor misunderstood young ladies. They just want a little bit of love, a little bit of death, just like the rest of us. Yeah, but what am I going to do about it? I have a nasty feeling it's going to do something to my minions. one of us. Pile on top of it. Okay, it wasn't actually that dangerous. It seems to try to carry one of them, one of our minions off, and feed upon it. Uh, or feed might not exactly be the correct Brown. word here. Red Browns. I didn't get a good look what I was doing. Playing with the imp a little bit. So what did we get? Your mana has been increased. Yay, I guess. There's no real downside to that. Uh, this is getting uncomfortably close to water though. Want to see what the other path has in store for us. Goal is to just get the blue imps. Nothing more, nothing less.
Uh, could be that we need green ones to bypass the poison. Yeah, we certainly need to do something with imps at the very least. Reds. Okay, can we just assign these guys there, see what they do? Well, we can, but they aren't doing shit. Yeah, I don't think that's somewhere we want to go. You choose all! Blue ones might be able to get there directly, but I still think you probably are gonna need green ones to go through the poison mist they have going. I'm, a, I'm sort of afraid that this game in general is gonna waste a huge ton of my time trying to put me in the position where I don't really know where am I supposed to go next. These creatures are boombo birds. They are as deadly as they are stupid looking and fiercely protective of their eggs. Okay. So we won't want to go anywhere near their eggs. Something we probably can't avoid doing though. Um, and we're at a dead end. So we need blue imps again, otherwise we can't do shit. Yep, yeah, I'm sort of confused where I'm supposed to go. We can break that to create a bridge, but it looks like we would have to go from another direction. But that's something I can do on my own, I don't need the imps for that. Why the fuck did you run into the water? Ah, Jesus Christ. Just use that. Ah. Stay there. Um, can I drown? It be a simple matter of just going there and knocking it down. Okay. Hope it is just as simple as this. Uncomfortably close to them. Right, this doesn't seem to help us at all, so figuring out a path to move forward was just a gigantic waste of my time again, because we need the blues to do anything. Is it 
Okay, where exactly do we need to go? Not very cave, but... There's a way to enter it, I don't know it. I suppose it could be a special ability of the blue somehow, I, I don't actually know what they can do. Is it just that they can uh, go over water? But I would see... I would think they're more like the reds, in the sense that the reds are immune to fire, but they can also douse flames, so creating paths for the arrest. So the blues could also have some sort of special ability like that. But they can move in water, they can swim basically, but they might be able to create paths for the rest. Also, there's no way I can do that without the blues. What, what other options do I really have? I guess that's the only one. I backed off because of the poisonous looking smog, but I don't actually know if it is even poison. Uh, that said, I'm not... I don't want to send everyone there. Where are they going? Oh. Well, that was convenient. I didn't even notice that. We could also put some kind of uh, imps at the center there. Why would we want to do that? So, any information about the green stuff? Might have known that the blues would find somewhere nice and damp to hide. Go forth, sire, and retrieve their hive. Uh. Well, it didn't kill the guy. Well, it sort of did. It is poison. So, do we need the greens before we can get the blues? Is the forest the place where we should be in then? <sighs> you don't want to leave the camp! I, I'm so, I'm the reason I'm sort of confused by this because there's no mention of anything relating to the green stuff. At all. Uh, can we shoot at it? You don't want to leave the camp. I mean, can we do something about it? Uh, even if, it, let's say, you no, know, it, it seems to me that they're green. The green can clean it up. Otherwise, you can't have bypass it. You just can't. So, no matter what we do. We can't do anything until we have the greens first. Blues are the last. I got out before they shut the city. Uh, I'll try to go to my tower first. See if I'm getting uh, gonna get automatically healed. Could also pick fights with that guy, but uh, forget it. Uh, if I go there, I don't see any way I could make progress. Heaven's Peak Swamp. Uh, I guess I was in the swamp already. Was I? Uh, yeah. There has to be a way for me to get the unicorn. 
without having the rules. What opponents do we have here? Almost the unicorns pretty much. Okay. Clearly I missed something here. We'll create a bridge if we can use that. But I can't send anyone there. There's no real water blocking our path, I'd say, but there might as well be. We're not getting through that. Same thing here. This is a way out from that place. Need to get unicorn number two somehow. Can you do anything about the pills? I should be able to use this, right? I don't see why. Uh, these are the greens can use. So that makes sense, right? They can uh, climb vines, they can remove poison. Although your imposing form can enter water, your minions cannot. Well, they can, but they will drown in a rut. Yeah, we could, should use the greens to bypass this. No, no, this is. There's a vine here. I'm not sure. I mean, it's probably. Okay, try not to dry and ever. I wouldn't say huge success, but jobs done. Also, I need to breach, otherwise I can't get the item away. Uh, the problem is, I don't know if I have the range to guide these to that thingamajig. Okay, simpler than I thought. Yeah, great. Hopefully it is actually great, because the current spells are sort of things I don't particularly want to ever use. Brown! Brown! Ganga spell! 
will get your minions all riled up, sire. It also increases their health and armor. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable spell to have. Also, I'm missing a guy. Yeah, one of my minions is stuck somewhere. <sighs> I paid good sacrifices to get my extra plus one minion. I'm not giving away. But... Might not be able to get the green minions, or actually, I think we are exactly going to be able to get the green minions. But this seems to be a lot a larger area than uh, just the minions. So the minions will basically just unlock this area. I think I'll play it until the point I'll get new minions. But I'll leave it at that. The because beasts are slain. Alas, it is only a brief light that shines within this darkness. Listen to the forest. Its sadness will tell you. Because I wasted so much time wondering about trying to figure out what we need to do. So I, I don't want to... I want to set out uh, exploring this fresh. I don't have uh, half an hour of waste of time. Before I can get to actually doing stuff. Where are those? Sort of uh, undead rat things? Now uh, they range combat users. And there seems to be quite a lot of them. Uh, from the looks of this, there's a little bit of a uh, areas where they're gonna pop up and start uh, harassing me very likely. Right, there's nothing particularly dangerous here, but we're still more or less just getting back what we lose, so it isn't exactly super profitable for us either. Oberon Green Haze once traveled the lands, vanquishing the great people. When last he returned, our great hero lost his taste for battle. When the dwarven invaders came, he would not. Fight. Oberon's blade became dull, his bowstring brittle, and he would not wake from his slumber. Around him grew this tree, swaddling him in its branches. Then the dreaming came. Oh. Kill Oberon. Okay. Don't think we can just directly go to the killing part. Yeah, we need green. Try to cross these blooms, Lord. You will need to find minions with a resistance to poison first. Yeah. Only they can destroy this noxious flora. Oberon gave form to his blackest dreams. They drove out the invaders.
Hmm. Oberon. Catchy name. That elf is protected by a powerful shield master. The roots give it energy. <laughs> Destroy the other root nodes, sire. No doubt the dwarf domain is bloated with the spoils of war. We must find a way through, Lord. Entrance to Dwarven lands, right. This is all nice, but I still need a new type of minion before I can do anything, so. Uh... Okay, there's some kind of thing thingamajig there. That guy has some sort of stun ability. On its own, it's probably harmless. In combination with some of those range attackers, and it's probably a lot of trouble. Still, minions, new type of minions, please. You choose all. I choose all, I have to choose all. What are those? Green minions, we are in luck. They have resistance to the poisonous plants in Evernight. You must find their lair. Green smell! Green smell! Boo! <laughs> Brown ones. Stunning sons of bitches. Please give me the green ones. They're the green ones. Looks like quite a lot of those spell casting ones, the stunning ones. Ah. Poison pods, delicious, sauteed in a splash of demons' bile. Deadly, of course. So perhaps they'd be more useful for dispensing a touch of mass carnage. Ah, interesting. Again, a new way to use the minions. Target something, send out a minion, and then direct the minion where you want to go. Release your shift key, and it'll dump the bomb there. Uh, what exactly do we need to do here, though? Destroy the totem, I guess. That's blue energy. Uh, this is blue again. Yeah, so now we're in a bit of a bind. What exactly are we supposed to do? Because to me it seems... Oh no no no, we can probably direct the minions around this, that's why it's so long. What do we need? Don't follow me please. Okay, you need to go there. 
I can go in the water so I can just walk here, no problem. Just, I don't care what you do. Dead. Can't be helped. No, it had the common sense to actually go around. Holy shit! Smartest minion ever. Yeah, there's another bomb there. Another bomb. <sighs> We're making progress at least. So I need to use the water again. Oh, there. Yeah. Ah, fine, stay here. Nothing really worth mentioning happens. Uh, again, I'm not sure how sensible this sort of thing is, because we've more or less gotten the gist of it, so is there really a huge point in actually keep you repeating the same shit? Still, I suppose it's somewhat cool. New things for you to do. And it just reappears if you didn't get all the targets. Okay. Wait, wait, there's something there. Could we get it? I suppose I can send minions there, but uh, I'm not sure if I could easily get them out. I could if I had blue ones. I don't want you to go into the water, you dumb pieces of shit. <sighs> For God's sakes. Clearly a couple of trader items there, so if you could just hold your ass there, that would be great.
that it? Yeah, I think that's enough. There's one uh, container there that I can destroy. It's not worth it. Okay, they can resurrect each other. That's a new one. Water, a couple of equipment pieces. Still no end in sight though. Every little. Oh fuck, they went in the water. It, it's like they have no sense of self preservation, no matter how silly the situation. So if we want to work anywhere near water, we want blue ones. Okay, looks like we're gonna get the green ones now. Or are they in a total different map section? Yeah, definitely need the green ones to get anything done. Well, I'm gonna get one extra item out of this, if nothing else, and the site, if that's not gonna give us the cave, the green ones, will at least take us to the map section where we can get the green ones. Also, this sort of... not sure if I've actually been here before. I have. Right. So, I'll pull the equipment piece out of here, enter the game, leave things leave things there. Because everything seems to take time in this game, more than I'm anticipating. Ooh, an object. I like objects. Some kind of an upgrade. Probably should be able to tell from the icon there. either mana or minion related probably. Your mana has been increased. Yeah. Not particularly interesting for me. Still I'll take it. You choose all I'm hoping the game will get sort of more interesting once you have all the four minions. I'm sure you will have to use them mixed up in interesting ways. The thing is, currently it's in a way where we, instead of just going to places and uh, handling the tactical challenges that come their way, it's more of a trying to figure out where the game wants us to go next, because it's the only place we can go. So this time it was the greens. I sort of we seem it's sort of a waste of my time not to point me in this direction directly because it's the only place I can eventually end up going anyway. Yeah, Viridian Caverns, I'll leave things here. I, I, I appreciate the old. The Viridian Caverns! The green minions must have made their home here. You must follow them, Master! I appreciate the open nature of the game that allows you to go to other places, however that's not 
that useful if you're going to have to go to one specific place anyway before you can go to any any of the others to make progress. So sort of you should at least hint heavily that you're supposed to go somewhere if that's how the game is structured or not. Still it's not a big complaint. You figure out where you need to go fairly quickly. So wasted time isn't all that much of a waste of time really. At least compared to things like how management can suck up a huge amount of time eventually in role-playing games. So exploring a little bit here and there, tele having to teleport to another place is a minor time-consuming event in comparison.